Hey everybody, I am just going to show you how to draw an impossible heart. So what you want to do is you want to draw the outer line and you don't want to make this part too deep. So you just come out like that. If you're right handed you probably want to draw the left side first so you see what you're doing on the second half. On the bottom part you draw a line like that and on this part you want to come down to the middle of this part and yeah, as you'll notice I'm not using a compass or any kind of reference or any guide so I'm just kind of doing it freehand so it's gonna look really wonky when it's done but it's a quick rendering of the impossible heart so now we've got our outline our outer edge you want to come down probably about right there and you want to draw a straight line right there and you notice the difference with the distance here so you want to continue on and try to maintain that same distance so you'll come down just like so and you'll come to a point so we're going to draw the right side and like I say it's going to be really wonky looking but it's a quick rendering if you're left handed you want to draw this side first that way you can see to match the second side as closely as possible. Now at this point we want to come down from this point about halfway like so and you want to draw this part up and join it on the inner arch. Same thing here you want to come down like that about halfway and you're going to try to maintain the same distance in the middle and you're going to join it to the outer arch like that alrighty now at this point right here you want to stay in the middle and join that part to the outer arch and this corner here you just want to come down and then you go up and sadly I am using just one hand so this is going to be really wonky alright and now for the fun part we get to shade it in usually what I do is I just go from the pointy parts and I just kind of start shading like so and you can go as dark as you like or as light as you like you can blend I'm just using a lead number two pencil so it's not gonna look really good if I were using a charcoal pencil it would look a lot better now what I do is I go to the opposite part so I don't stay in the same line I go to the next line and I start right here and I shade And I do the same thing right here. I skip a line and I shade. I'm trying to stay within the border. And right here. And you can go down as far as you like. You can go as dark or as light. It's all up to you. Okay, at this point, I'll go ahead and shade here. For me, shading is actually the fun part because it makes your image pop.
Alrighty, now that creates the illusion of a twisted, impossible heart. It kind of looks wonky because we didn't use any compass or any guide. So, it's just a quick freehand rendering. So, I hope you liked the video. If you do, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, complete randomness for me, go ahead and subscribe. And I thank you for watching.